you for coming to Jack and Grail, home on the seven pound burrito. Come on in. What were you guys thinking coming up with a seven pound burrito? Jack uh, started the seven pound burrito after John Alway's number, the number seven. So that's seven pounds, starting with roughly five pounds of potatoes, a pound of ham, 12 eggs, and several ounces of cheese and green chili. It's spicy. We sell a lot of burrito that, that size. There's no way. There's no way. Seven pounds. I mean, that's an instant IV right there. Paul Martinez survived it once before, although he never quite finished it. And today, he's back for round number two, just for us. Really quickly, what, what the challenge is with this burrito? Uh, seven pounds for the gentleman. If you eat the burrito, you get it for free, and you get your picture taken, and you get uh, put up on the wall of fame. If a woman eats it, she also gets to eat for free for life at any Jack and Grill restaurant. That sounds like a challenge to me. What makes someone get up in the morning and say, hmm, I feel like a seven pound burrito. Well, you gotta like burritos first, you know? And seven burritos is just more to like, I guess. I might have a bite. All right. It's very good. It, it actually looks really good. Cheers. Mm. Oh, oh, it's spicy. It's got some heat to it. Wow. Last year, MetroMix.com took on the burrito challenge, with style, of course, but not even this team of hearty eaters could make a dent. And sorry, Paul, but it doesn't seem like you're doing much better either. It's uh, definitely a marathon and not a sprint. And it looks like we're in the first couple miles of that marathon. Yeah, I the first block or so. <laughs> the maybe. first block. Believe it or not, more than a dozen ladies have polished off this plate in the history of the challenge. But generally, the burritos get boxed up to go. How many people actually finish it? Oh, uh, I would say probably 10% maybe. Poor Paul decided to call it quits less than a quarter of the way through. But hey, at least he'll have enough leftovers to last him a week. And I'm sure it's all quite healthy. All low calorie, no fat whatsoever. Yes, you could take a diet on this, yes. Well, thanks so much for having us. This has been a lot of fun. Well, thank you, Heidi. I appreciate that. Well, loosen up your pants. We're going even bigger for this next challenge. It's tag team style for the next meal. Welcome to Bojo's, home of the 14 pound Grand Sicilian. Are you up for the challenge? How many people does it take? One person have to finish it? Uh, two people? Two people get to do it in one hour. In one hour? Yeah. Putting down seven pounds of pizza a person? Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Bigger guys will come in and they'll be like, yeah, no problem, we can do that. They're like, all right, well, good luck with that. Bojo's master pizza makers start out with seven pounds of dough. That's right, seven pounds for this oversized pie, topped off with 12 ounces of sauce and then sprinkled with 40 ounces of cheese and pepperoni. And that's all just round one. Is there any method to the madness or you just go for it? Uh, we just kind of go for it. Um, really, this pizza is just really insane. So if you're keeping up with the math, we still have roughly seven pounds to go, and it'll come from right here, a pan full of toppings, more cheese, and yes, more pepperoni. You think we can put an M on this for Metro Mix? Sure, we can do that. If you finish the Bojo's Challenge, you not only get this $80 pie for free, they'll pay you 100 bucks and place your picture front and center for all to see. I think we should start eating. Dig in. <laughs>